Welcome to Fair Tone Studios. I've got a new acoustic guitar, which is a Faith Venus Blood Moon. It's actually been in my house for a couple of hours and I haven't even looked at it yet, but I've been shooting other videos. I can't even open the case. Genuinely excited about this one. <laughs> How good does that look? I'll do some B-roll of the case, that looks incredible. Why is there an Allen key on my guitar? Dex. So it comes with a hard case, a very nice hard case. Um, yeah. Oh, for God's sake, really? Turns out it comes with a free meal as well. Let's get that out. Uh, all the places to put it. Right, is it in tune? Perfectly. Let me tune it. It's got Grover tuners. Grover are my favourite tuners. They come on Les Pauls. It's got sort of black tips on them, but. Oh, Fishman, I think it's called an Inc. 3 preamp, which means it's got bass, mid, treble, volume. How does it work? Oh, okay. Well, that's quite delicate. At least it's labelled. What I didn't like about my tailor was that I could never remember which way around the controls were. I think it was volume, bass and treble, but there's just three knobs and they're not labelled. That used to annoy me. This looks incredible. Satin neck. I haven't bought an acoustic for about 10 years. They have come on a mile. I think this was, was it 900 quid? I didn't pay full price, I got it. A guitar Guitar have a sale on at the moment, so if you're looking at getting one of these or quite a few other, um, actually some Chapman guitars and some Faiths, they've got um, a good sale on at the moment. Let me see how much I paid. 750 I paid for this. I mean, that is absolutely wonderful. I've got an old Takamine, which I love the look of. It's black, bound, all the sexy stuff like this, but this just looks better. But the action's about four miles high. This plays like an electric guitar. Acoustic. <laughs> okay. I can't play an acoustic guitar, it turns out. I can't believe how well it plays. I did speak to someone. <laughs> Sorry, going on about guitar, guitar. When you go on the website, I was doing some research, I was looking on Andertons, I was looking on eBay. Um, so I don't like to pay full price for things. And they had a sale on, and the chat thing popped up, and the guy was like, Do you need a hand? I said, I'm looking at Faith Guitars. He said, I tried one. I said the two I was looking at, so they do a black one which has a cutout. I like a cutout because when you got the dusty end, especially for this chord, basically C up an octave. He said, I tried this, really stands out. I said, uh, okay, I might buy one, but it's got to be well set up. And he said, well, I'll make sure it's well set up for when it gets to you. So I don't know if his tech set it up or if he got to it and sorted it out, but <laughs> it's really good. Really, really, really good. tuners on an acoustic. I don't know, comment, is that a new thing? Because I swear I've never seen that before, although I've never used to care, to be honest, which tunes are on it up until the last few years, but proper tuners on a guitar make a difference, and that is awesome. I've got them, all my Gibsons, I've put them on guitars. It's sort of always a selling point for me, but some um, Harley Bentons come with it on now, and that's sort of, if you're on the fence about Harley Benton, it's got Grovers. Let's plug it in. Right, this is into a guitar amp, so this might be a terrible idea and may feed back massively, but it'll be funny finding out. So you're hearing this through a Greenback, a uh, Celestian Greenback and an SM57. Why not? <laughs>
fretboard is, but it looks cool. But it's just so nice to play. I don't know if it sounds good. I sort of don't care. It sounds like an acoustic, so let me know. Does it sound good? But it plays so well. Oh, the EQ's flat. Should I should probably put that... Um, sorry, the EQ's all the way down, even. That's why it was so quiet. <laughs> comes with a strap lock on the neck. No guitar to that. I normally have to put one on it. Hopefully I can change that for a shallow strap lock because it, well, it's not a strap lock, it's just a strap button, but I don't know what timber it's made out of. I sort of don't care. I'm not being funny. For a 900 quid guitar, it's not going to be bad timbers. It looks wicked. It's bound. What I noticed, I just had a phone call. The bridge is tusk and the nut is tusk. Tusk does sound better than plastic. I did a tone test. I was surprised. I didn't think it would. This is so good. It's so good. I'm gonna do a second half of this when I've had it for longer. I can't imagine I'm gonna find any faults with it, apart from the fact they put an Allen key on top of it in the case, the idiots. And there's a, I can see a scratch here from it, but I'm not being funny, I'll probably die with this one, so does it matter that it's got scratched? It's gonna have buckle rash all over the back of it. It's been so long since I've played a new one because my last one was terrible, didn't really like my tailor, it was nice to play. Did I have more than one tailor? All my friends have tailors, they're all nice. But it's like half the price of a tailor. I prefer the electronics, and if they sound better, I sort of don't care, I'm not being funny, it's Fishman, so you can't really go wrong. But the EQ on it makes sense, it's got a built-in tuner, volume and it's all labelled so you know what's what, especially if it's dark at a gig you can see what's what. It's also got a light up screen on the tuner which just, <laughs> I mean, quite funny. Grover tuners, I don't know if they all play this good but the dude at Guitar Guitar, I don't even know who it was that I spoke to but if you did set this up or if you picked out a good one or sent a message to the warehouse, I don't know how it works, nice work. And get on Guitar Guitar's website, they've got these on sale. I don't think Andertons do but Guitar Guitar do at the moment. Hard case as well. Right, anyway, part two is in a minute. Duh, I want to play this, so I've got to go to the pub. Faith Blood Moon. I think it's the Venus, I can't really remember. I've had it a couple of weeks now. Absolutely amazing guitar. In fact, um, a few of my friends had a go, but it was in the house, so I didn't film it. And they were seriously impressed by how good it was, especially when comparing it to my old acoustic, which I thought was quite good. Turns out it's not. One of the things they were most impressed by is when you press the tuner, it lights up. It's really cool. Um, the electronics are a Fishman Inc. 3, or INK 3, I don't know if it's an acronym. Um, I don't think it's the best looking electronics cover, but it's also small and compact, so it's, it's sort of neater, but equally I kind of wish it was bigger and bulkier, which would serve no purpose, I'm just used to that. So, oh, that's just personal preference and absolutely ridiculous. You're listening to it through uh, a mic parts I can't remember what it's called. It's a Neumann U47 clone. I'm not paying for a full new Neumann U47, but that's a microphone I've just built. There's a review on that coming soon. What a nice microphone. And I know I should probably record through uh, 
it's pencil mics, but they're my overheads, so I couldn't be bothered to move them and I wanted to hear how they sounded on acoustic. Did a little sound check, sounded great. So that's what the guitar sounds like. So you've heard through the room, through an amp, through a, a microphone, mic'd up, so you've kind of got an idea of what it sounds like in a, like a room setting. No one's gonna play it through a guitar amp, but <laughs> it's sort of a PA sound. And um, a studio sound. Absolutely amazing guitar, satin neck, I'm still loving that. I just love the fact it's got Grover tuners, I did not know you could get those on an acoustic. I know it's sort of obvious, but I love good tuners. It when you've got bad tuners, it just makes, you can hate a guitar because it's just, you can't quite tune it or it just keeps twisting. I absolutely love that. And I also didn't realise that they were doing things like satin necks on acoustics, which I know is also an obvious thing, but it just makes such a difference in playability. Uh, Absolutely love this guitar, and I'm genuinely considering doing some acoustic gigs, which I hate gigging. I'm just tired of it, but with an acoustic guitar, you just turn up with an acoustic guitar and plug it into the PA. It's so much easier than an electric guitar, you know, pedal boards and all the rest of it. I know I would still take a Boss TU3 tuner with this, so I've got to take one pedal, but it's a lot less to carry one guitar and a tuner than it is to carry amp head, amp. It's easier for me, I find, to get I used to play acoustic guitar a lot. We did a, we did tons of acoustic gigs, and it's far easier to get a good sound on an acoustic guitar. And this guitar is making me want to actually go out and play in front of people again, which is unusual. wasn't expecting that to happen. It's also <laughs> inspiring Steve to start looking at acoustic guitars, and uh, we've played electric guitar sort of a hundred percent, maybe eight years now. Used to be acoustic guitar players, and then just went full on electric. Yeah. You're going to hear this on some songs soon just because, well, it's so good. It's so good. Sounds great too. Hopefully this review is helpful. There's about 900 quid. I think I paid 750 from Guitar Guitar. Hopefully they're still on sale by the time this video goes out. Worth a check anyway. Yeah, thanks for watching.